everyone, welcome back to my channel. So there's actually two parts of this video, so I'm going to do the first one first, and then I'm going to have to move this chair that I'm sitting on. Hello, little tiny me that are up on these pictures back here. Um, and do the second part, standing up. So, um, I have a very exciting thing that happened today. Um, my album Gemini came out today. Um, now, I don't have any um, original stuff. I was really focused on making sure that my covers were good because halfway through making this album we were like, let's do some originals, which then we didn't end up having enough time for. So, but I decided that I would just talk with you guys a little bit about the recording process of kind of each song. So, I'm recording this on my iPad and I have my phone right here. First of all, for all those Doctor Who fans, say hello to Matt Smith and Jenna Coleman from like 2013 on my... Uh, my screensaver. Um, the first song on the album is, I gotta get it, is Sorry Not Sorry, which I actually had to record twice. Uh, because the first time I recorded it was like a few days, like right after it came out. And it sounded really bad, so I had to re-record it, and then I re-recorded it right before school started, and it ended up being really good, and we kept that one instead of the older one. Uh, there's a piece of hair on my iPad, so it looks really weird. Uh, the song after that is Stained, which is a song by Selena Gomez. What's on my suit? Oh, that's a piece of hair. Um... Which is Stained, which is a song by Selena Gomez that technically isn't released, but it got leaked. And so a bunch of people were making, um, I look like I have a double chin right now for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so it was, I need to like, uh. So it, uh, so a bunch of people made backing tracks to it. And I was like, I'm doing it. And, I don't know, I wanted to put it on the album. So I was like, I'm not waiting for her to release it, I'm going to do it. So I put it on there. Um, then I have Why by Sabrina Carpenter, which is a single that she released in like June, July, somewhere in there. And um, I don't know why I recorded this one. I really liked this song, and I'm going to hopefully have a music video for all three songs that I've talked about so far. Um, my fingers are really long. Um... And, um, it's really exciting because I have tears that go with my music videos, which is a different video that I'm going to be doing. Hopefully, I think I'm, I think I'm going to be doing that video on Friday. I'm not so sure. Um, yeah. Oh, that reminds me that I wanted to apologize because, uh, last Friday I said I was going to do a video with my friend who was spending the night, but she decided that she didn't want to do that, so, you know. So the song after Why is Pumpkin Soup, which if, not a lot of people have heard of this song. It's a song by a, I think she's Scottish or Irish, I think it's Scottish, yeah, um, by a Scottish singer named Kate Nash, and I actually heard this song on a behind the scenes for a uh, Doctor Who episode, and I was like, I have to, and I was like, I have to figure out what song this is, and it took me two weeks to figure out what song this was, and then once I figured it out, I was like karaoke track recording this because it's an amazing song. The message isn't exactly the best, but this video, I think if I do a video to this, it, would, it will take a while, so. Um, then I have Kill Him With Kindness by Selena Gomez, just one of my favorites. There's really no, like, reasoning behind it. I was bored one day and I was like, hey dad, because I record with my dad in our basement. I was like, hey dad, let's record. He's like, do you have any backing tracks? I'm like, yeah. And I found this one on my computer from like a long time ago because I was, I've been wanting to record this for a while, so. Um, Issues by Julia Michaels. Uh, she's my girl. I love her. Um, and this music video should be coming out really soon, actually. I'm really excited about it. That will start, I think, tier two. Um... 
And I also have, yeah, and so this song is just a lot of fun to sing. And then I have Fetish, which you guys know because it was on, I did a music video for it already. It's one of my favorite songs. Um, yeah, which I left the rap out of it for good reason, because I can't rap. Um, so, yeah. Uh, then I have my only song in a different language. It's called Bitty Bitty Bomb Bomb. It's by Selena Quintanilla, and it's a really good song. Uh, if you recognize the name and you don't know who Selena Quintanilla is, but you listen to Selena Gomez, then you probably know it from her For You album that was out in like 2014, I think. Or, yeah, 2014. And she did a cover of it. With Selena Quintanilla, but like the recording of Selena because Selena Quintanilla's uh, passed away, so. Now I have my first two-part song, which is actually ended up being a seven-minute song of uh, two of Camila Cabello's songs. One is Crying in the Club. The other one is um, I Have Questions. And I Have Questions starts it, and then part partway through it, it changes. Right about here. I have questions. I really liked it together, so it's like I'm putting them together. Then, this is a song that I didn't have in my trailer because I wanted to be a surprise, but this is Instruction by Jax Jones featuring Demi Lovato. And this music video should be coming out really soon. I have backup dancers that I'm working with at the moment, and uh, so, yeah. Then I have This Town by uh, Niall Horn. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, I heard this on the radio when I was helping out at the animal shelter in my area that I help out with uh, every once in a while. And I was like, and I went home and I found the karaoke and I recorded it. That's pretty much what happened, so. Um, I have Smoke and Fire, which is by Sabrina Carpenter. This album ends with two Sabrina Carpenter songs, Smoke and Fire and the next one. Um, this one, I don't know why, I just downloaded it and I really liked it, so. And then the other Sabrina Carpenter song is Eyes Wide Open. Um which I recorded because I feel like, because this first line says, I was born an old soul, and a lot of people actually say that to me, and I was like, and most of the time I'm like, yeah, so what does that mean now? Like, like, and I sometimes have that feeling, like, when I'm, like, recording or performing, that it's just me up there, when in reality it's not, so I wanted to record this to kind of say that. So if you liked the album and uh, you know me, or you can, I think you can message through YouTube now. If you want to message me and be like, hey, I'd love a copy, then let me know and I'll make you a copy and find out how to give it to you. So, second part of my video. Kind of goes with a little bit of a backstory here. Um, so, today marks one month with a very special person in my life. And I don't usually talk about this on YouTube. I do a little bit on social media, but um, me and my girlfriend have been together for a month now, and I'm not going to say her name, um, but she was in my fetish music video. So we've known each other for about a month and a half and then started dating a little bit after we knew, started to get to know each other. So I decided I would sing two of Demi Lovato's songs for her as a gift because I won't be able to see her to celebrate this until Saturday. So I'm going to move this chair and then I'm going to get started. Because my phone is at 6% and uh, I need to do this. Okay.
gonna be fine. Here I am, if you're ready to try. It's not sweet when you tell me those words. It's my life for better or worse, for better or yeah, 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 yes. yeah, 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 yeah,
Lighthouse, bring me home You're never far from me Let your spirit go So those were my covers of Demi's Yes, that was the first one, and then the second one was Lionheart. Now, this video has probably been the longest one I've ever posted, but it's worth it. And uh, I'm going to be drinking a lot of water after this, so um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you tomorrow.